they're not even following their own rules. I mean, don't no. you know how many people have gotten caught? Don't oh. go that, oh, here's so and so at a salon. Don't don't eat out at a restaurant, you know, unless you're wearing a mask and, and separate. Oh, here's a picture of uh, the governor of California violating those rules. For us to to count on the government to help us out is is becoming a joke at this point. There's Green Bay Packers star quarterback Aaron Rodgers slamming politicians for breaking their own COVID lockdown rules while Americans struggle. The future Hall of Famer taking matters into his own hands with a massive donation to the Barstool Fund, helping out small businesses. Here now to react, former NFL player and entrepreneur Chris Valletta. Good morning, Chris. Hi, Will. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So you hear Aaron Rodgers there slamming politicians for their hypocrisy, but also slow to get out there and help Americans while private charities like the Barstool Fund are doing so. What's your reaction? Well, I I think it's like anyone's reaction when it takes 200 days to approve a COVID, COVID relief, but only two days to impeach a president. I think people understand that this is politics over people. Aaron Rodgers is justified. I think I agree with him. I think a lot of Americans agree with him. And I'm proud to that he made that donation to the Barstool Fund, which is actually helping businesses. There's other companies that are doing the same thing. Look what PepsiCo is doing for, for restaurants all over the country. I'm proud to say that my company, Mission, uh, we're feeding a million people in our backyard of Westchester County through Feeding Westchester. More companies need to step up because the government obviously is not. Well, that's the story of America, honestly. It's Americans helping Americans through their own their own charity, through their own ingenuity. That's the story of America. The story for today, though, is two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. It's Drew Brees and Tom Brady. It's the Buccaneers versus the Saints. It's 640 p.m. Eastern time right here on Fox. It's hard, Chris. I know you know this, having played in the NFL. It's hard to beat a team three times. It's also hard, by the way, to beat Tom Brady. Can the Saints do it? Can they beat the Bucks three times and beat Brady today? Well, Drew would be the first quarterback to ever sweep Tom Brady in a single season. This is the oldest quarterback matchup ever. Two titans of NFL history. I cannot wait to watch this game. When you think about the question marks that were over the heads of Tom Brady and Drew Brees before this season, you've got Brady, six-time NFL Super Bowl champion, coming into a team that's in a rebuilding year. What's going to happen? You've got Drew Brees, who broke 11 ribs and had a collapsed lung you know, at the age of 42 years old, what's going to happen with him? They answered those questions. They obviously are in the playoffs. It's going to be an incredible game. I cannot wait to watch it. Yeah, you can see right there, Drew Brees is 5-2 and two against Tom Brady. It's going to well, be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's 6.40 today on Fox. Chris Valletta, thanks for breaking it down for us. Thanks, Will. All right, take care.